What's going on, y'all? So in this video, we're going to be talking about the new Unreal Engine 5.1. So as you all know, I've been messing around with the Unreal Engine 5.1 version, but now it is officially out. 5.1 Preview 1 is available for everybody. In this video, what I'm going to do is, in case you missed it, I'm going to go over five new features that is Unreal Engine 5.1 because there's just so much, so many goodies in this release. Okay, so starting with Nanite Foliage. Now, Nanite broke the internet when it was first announced and people started asking two questions. When are we gonna be able to Nanite Foliage and Skeletal Mesh? Well, with 5.1, we finally can Nanite Foliage. So big thanks to Epic. Now, if you're trying this out, uh, it's still pretty early technology, so be really gentle with it. Um, there's still some quirks that they have to work out, but just be glad that they are tracking and it's already there. You can play around with it. So yeah, that's really freaking amazing news. The second feature I'm going to talk about has to do with path tracing fog. So before 5.1, you cannot use path tracing in conjunction with environment exponential fog and volumetric fog. Well, with 5.1, you can do it now and it looks freaking amazing. The third thing that I'm gonna talk about is also related to path tracing. Now in 5.1, path tracing decals are also now supported. And by the way, if you're a member on my YouTube channel, I am constantly dropping files in there. And I think I dropped a couple of decals for you to use in Unreal because now path tracing supports decals. I know some of y'all out there have been waiting for this for a minute. The fourth feature I'm going to be talking about is the Live Link Face Importer plugin. Now, if you're familiar with Live Link Face app with MetaHumans, usually before 5.1, you would need to be connected to Wi-Fi or Ethernet for you to use it. But now with the Live Link Face Importer, you can now import dot csv files into unreal engine directly meaning you do not have to be connected to the internet whenever you are recording your facial animations using your iphone device crazy stuff i tell you i'm already testing this out right now it's going to be part of my next unreal engine 5 how to make a movie course and i'm pretty darn happy with this change and lastly the feature that i have been crying about since i started using unreal two years ago we now have an Morphic camera built in Unreal Engine 5. So I guess I am really running out of things to complain about when it comes to Unreal because the anamorphic plug-in camera inside Unreal 5.1 is definitely, definitely much needed that I've been waiting for. So epic. It seems like you are all just going down the list that everybody's wanting and that is just really cool for y'all to do that. Okay, that's pretty much it. That's the five new features that I absolutely love in Unreal 5.1. There are a lot of changes in 5.1, so go ahead and check that out. And if you haven't done so, I made a lot of videos about each and every one of these new features. Go ahead and check it out in the top right corner of this video right here so you can go ahead and take a look. But that's pretty much it. Let me know in the comments below what y'all think about this new update are you gonna be using it downloading it are you gonna be like waiting until the actual release because it's still in preview let me know in the comments below like always thanks for watching and i'll see y'all later